Hi guys, hope you're all good. Um, today, I'm on a site that I've called into relating to my job. And I've been allowed to uh, do a video of the vehicles they've got stored here. I uh, want to thank the guys very much for letting me do this. Okay, the first one is a uh, Transit Connect. It's been uh, well stripped for parts. The only interesting thing about this one is that it's a 52 plate and it would have been one of the first ones produced after production of the Escort van had ceased. I mean, obviously it's given up everything that it can do and sits here awaiting the scrap man. So we'll uh, go on inside the building now and uh, we'll have a look and see what's in there. That's how I've got permission to do this. So the first one we come to, the light in here might not be fantastic. So yeah, the first one is 2000 Mark VI Escort Estate. Nice and clean and tidy. It's not a mark on it. Um, somebody's obviously looked after it well. Now, little badge there, look. Ford Motor Company, Halewood, England. Um, it's the finesse model, so it's the top of the range. Now inside, we've got a half leather interior, which all looks to be in nice neck. No dashboard in it. So, somebody's obviously got the joyous task of putting that back in at some point, rather than them me. So, yeah, overall a uh, nice tidy looking car, that at one time there would have been plenty of on the road, that um, we just don't see anymore. Okay, and beside it is a... E46 330 Tora BMW. It's being stored here for a customer. Now, it's another nice looking example. Again, there would have been plenty of at one point. It's not actually a mark on it. It's a nice, clean, tidy car, that one. Move on to the next one, which is um, E38 BMW 740i V8. Um, it's apparently come in for some recommissioning work, and I'd describe that as a tank because it is absolutely massive. And when you left the forecourt in that in 1995, you'd have felt something really special, surely. Now, let's open it up. Uh, Multi-function steering wheel. It's an automatic. And it is absolutely full of black leather. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. And the, these front seats are absolutely massive. I don't know how well you can see them. But they are like armchairs. That, that is a nice car. We'll go and have a look at the other side in a minute. Well, 
that is something to be proud of. That is lovely. There's no damage on it. So I've got the aftermarket wheels. And that's that one. So now we'll move around to the next. So we'll be back on the floor again, I'm afraid. Okay, and then we come to a uh, 99 Escort Mark VI again. And this one's in Amparo Blue. Obviously needs a bit of weld in there, that's why the back bumper's been removed. Um, it's the finesse model. So again, top of the range. Amparo Blue. I think I might have already said that. It's got all the dealer stickers on the door pillar. Mileage is... Let's see... 30,670. And I'd say that's genuine. Because this is really nice inside. It smells like a new car. There's no wear in it whatsoever. That driver's seat. The bolsters and that. They are really good. I think that's what you'd describe as being a time warp vehicle. So, uh, there it is. 99 Mark VI Escort. Again, not many of them left, I wouldn't have thought. Okay, and then beside that, there is a FX4 taxi in white has it been repainted was it a special order don't know bonnets up so, uh, here's the engine don't know what that engine is we'll, uh, we'll take a look inside leather seats in it aftermarket wooden steering wheel mileage is 408,000 406,098 when obviously these things spend their lives going round in circles don't they so the mileage is going to be colossal up the back door, close the front one, plenty of spare parts inside it, leather rear seats again, on the parcel shelf, a wedding bouquet, they obviously uh, been used for wedding hires, Don't think it would appeal to me though. So let's close this one up. Look at the other side of it, another angle. Try not to break my neck. There we are. Quite a nice tidy old girl actually. We'll uh, go on to the next one. Okay, so here we have got a, an XRAC Mark VI short wheelbase transit van. Now this one's being used for spare parts. And looking at the uh, dust on it, I'd say that's been sat here for quite a while. Get inside this one. It's a little bit tight here at the moment. So excuse me. It's 
a bit dark in here. The uh, mileage on this one. 244,279. Uh, it's got some of these work boots inside it. Back down there. Not a uh, not a particularly interesting one, it's just an old transit. So let's close this one up again. It's uh, obviously the uh, XRAC. Get myself back out of this gap. Just climbing over a few things. Oh yeah, there we go. Transit. FX4. And... Mark 6 Escort. So we'll go outside now. Outside again the other way. So we've got a couple of bits out here. So uh, just bear with me and I'll be there. Trying to beat the rain. Okay, and outside there is a uh, Series 2. Land Rover. That looks exactly the way a Land Rover should do. Well worked. There you go, there's the Land Rover badge. Land Rover, Birmingham, England. Yeah, there we go. Let me have a look in the, have a look in the window. It's a really nice old thing, that one. Okay, next to that, again, not particularly interesting, is a uh, Discovery. And then in front of the Discovery, the last one, a 1969 Ford D series box van. No, when was the last time you saw one of them? Again, that's really quite nice. Have a look inside. Let's go have a look from the other side a minute. Obviously wanting attention. It's uh, yeah, and um, converted to living accommodation by the look of it. It is really quite nice. And then beside that, there's an old old. What looks like a IV called daily school bus. Have a look in 
this school bus. <laughs> Here we are. Look at all the cobwebs. Not mouldy, so it must be dry. No, nope, I think something just fell off then. It's a bit tight here, so I probably can't show you the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. Old IV coat. So that there's a rather green transit minibus with Blue Peter on the doors. Windows are broken. Doesn't he open? Yeah, he's open. Full of spare parts. Uh, mileage on this one. Oops. Uh, can't can't tell. It's got a taco. Radio cassette. Yeah. like it's been standing in a hedge. I'll show you the other side. Oh, look. X-Age UK minibus. There. That should be white underneath that. So I can't get great pictures of the sides of these two because the, everything's so tight here. I'm having to walk backwards to get out of the gap. So, uh, anyway, hope you uh, found this interesting. And uh, look after yourselves. And I'll try and get another one soon.